You know, I had a lot of great memories as a child playing basketball in the driveway, and I wanted to give my son that same opportunity. So today we're going to be installing the 72-inch in-ground basketball hoop from Gorilla. So let's get started. Now before we get started with the actual assembly of the hoop, we needed to put in a concrete footing to support it all. So we dug a hole and dropped a sono tube in that was 16 inches diameter and four feet long. The anchor kit comes with rebar as well as the actual anchors and the mounting plate that will all be embedded in the concrete. Then we filled the sauna tube up with concrete and installed all of the hardware per the directions. Got it. If you like videos like this and you want to see more of them, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. And also don't forget to ring that bell right next to it so that you get notifications anytime we drop a new video. Then on the fifth day, the concrete's had enough time to harden and it was time to go ahead and start the assembly process of the hoop. So we unboxed all of the materials that came with the hoop and started assembling the post and the support arms, the lower and upper support arms. Once we got those assembled on the post along with the stabilizer, then we recruited a couple extra people to make sure that we could get this post in place nice and safely. Once the post was on top of the base, then we could level it and fine tune that with the bolts that are exposed on top of the mounting plate. Then the tricky part was actually installing the backboard. Now this thing is a beast. It's six feet wide by four feet tall and it weighs way too much for one person to carry. So we got a couple people, we backed up a pickup truck to it and then we had two people lift it in place while the other person was installing the hardware. As with anything, many hands make light work. So the more people you have, the easier it's gonna be.
With the backboard installed, then we moved on to installing the cross brace in between the two upper support arms. Then it was time to install the hoop, the net, and the padding on the bottom of the backboard. And then it was time to install the height sticker on the adjustable mechanism. We did so by lowering or raising the, the hoop all the way up to 10 feet. We measured that with a tape measure, and then we marked that on the mechanism, came back, or lowered the, the hoop all the way down, and then stuck that sticker right on where our mark was. After we got done with the hoop installation, we had one more trick up our sleeve, and that was the basketball hoop light. Now this is a light that extends over the back of the basketball hoop and illuminates the basketball court and the darker hours very nicely. One of the things that sets this hoop apart is the stabilizer technology from Gorilla. And essentially what that is, is a counterweight mounted to the back of the hoop that is going to deaden any shake in the backboard and give you a pro or arena style feel. Nice shot, buddy. All right, hold up, don't leave yet. Make sure that you check out this video up here. YouTube thinks you like it and I do too. But also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button up there. And if you wanna see the written article, hit that link right down there and that's gonna take you to the website. Until next time, be safe and happy building.